here we have our microwave slash convection oven. So you can use the microwave when you are plugged into shore power or when the generator is on, which I will demonstrate. Just one important tip, don't use this metal uh, rack when you're using the microwave, only if you're using the convection oven. So let's turn on the generator. As soon as we turn on the generator and it kicks on, you should see the microwave clock flash and that's how you'll know it's on. So there we go. We can see that the microwave is on and ready to use. Okay, so we're going to show you how to quickly operate your Norcold fridge. So you want to do is make sure the main cabin power is on, press and hold the button. And typically we already start this up for our renters, but in case it ever shuts down, this is the process you would go through. So again, press and hold. Now these are touch screen squares here. So the first square is to pick and choose your power source. So I recommend just scrolling through until it says the AAA is automatic. Now this operates off propane, cabin batteries, or shore power. So automatic setting is the best to use. I just recommend that. If you want to get back to your on screen, just push the power softly. And then the middle square touch panel is to set your level. I typically recommend either a three or a four. I typically, we set this up for renters and we leave it at a three. Should be plenty cool enough to cool your fridge or your freezer. Now keep in mind these don't get cold right away so typically we try to set these up for our clients overnight. The last button is the fridge exhaust. Now typically we just recommend don't mess with this button just keep it where there's no icon there. If this icon is on it's not exhausting out so just keep that off. And that's how to operate your fridge. One last note here if you do have a lot of heavy items, there is a notch down below to lock your fridge door in place. So while driving, it doesn't accidentally open. And just make sure you open up that latch so you can open up the fridge door. And that's the fridge operation. So operation of the stovetop. First of all, make sure that your LP valve is on. Turn the knob to light, hold, and hit the igniter. And from there you can adjust to whatever level. And the same goes for the smaller. To light, hold down, igniter, and then you can adjust from there. One important thing to note is once you turn off your stove, do not put this down until everything is cooled. 